The College of Idaho football team barely missed the playoffs in 2022 after a great season. It doesn't have to, uh, you don't have to spend much time with them to find out that that's what's making them even hungrier this year, though. Yeah, and they've been taking advantage of their spring camp, one of the building blocks that's going to take them to that next step this year. And you can really feel that intensity in today's purple and gold scrimmage. It was a beautiful day for some football at Simplot Stadium. The annual purple and gold game pits the offense against the defense for three quarters of a live scrimmage. And the defense started out red hot. Brock Richardson takes the handoff. Jacob Arms and Joey Calzaretta team up and knock it loose. Blake Hill pounces on the fumble for the recovery. The Oats defense forced three turnovers in the first period of play. The offense would find their groove rotating quarterbacks throughout. Here is Caden Young behind center. The Emmett High School grad finds former Middleton standout Cash Cowdery in the end zone. The diving effort comes up cleanly for the score. That was Young's second touchdown pass of the day, by the way. Well, later on, Ryan Blocker behind center. Now he finds Brock Richardson in the flat who breaks a tackle off to the races. I tell you, Jay, one of the fastest guys on the roster. A lot of plays looking like that last season. That's another touchdown. Well, how about last the returning starter? Andy Peters back from a broken leg, and he get, takes full advantage in the third. Hits John Kreps, nothing but green grass in front of him. That was his first touchdown of the day. He would later on close the game out with another TD pass. That one to Joven Sewell. That closed the door on the battle between offense and defense. A late rally, but the offense takes this one 58 to 45. Our big emphasis this year is, hey, when we're gassed, we still got to go make plays. You know, if it's overtime, then we still got to go make plays. And so I think we just pulled the guys together and said, hey, this is this is the time that we've been talking about all offseason. And so I think we all started to, like I said, take pride in what we do and ended up putting it together. They're really hungry in the sense of almost disappointed with the way things have ended the last couple years so that's kind of carried over and then the enthusiasm out here in practice I think that's what you have to do to become a really really solid championship team.